Freshwater fish are generally less colorful, and many of them tend to have a pretty ordinary personality. However, one group of fish that bucks both these trends quite emphatically is the African cichlids. They are some of the most colorful and interesting fish, and many can even rival and surpass their saltwater counterparts when it comes to looks and being personable. This group of fish does have quite a few requirements, which is why I will tell you everything there is to know about them to be able to properly care for them. Welcome to the channel! In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the African cichlid. But before I continue, do me a favor and smash that like button as it lets me know that you're enjoying videos like this. Natural Habitat There are over 1,000 different fish species that come under the cichlid banner. Of these, a good chunk comes from Africa. While they can be subdivided into many smaller groups, we will divide them into two as that'll give you a fair idea about their care requirements. There are two main groups of African cichlids, Malawi cichlids and Tanganyika cichlids. The former includes Mbuna or rock cichlids and peacocks, while the latter comprises some of the more behaviorally interesting fish. Malawi and Tanganyika refer to two massive freshwater lakes in Africa, and they have been a treasure trove for some of the best fishes introduced into the hobby in the last century, and they continue to bring in more new species every year. Physical Description The Mbuna chicklets have a very robust bullet-shaped body. They are stout and look mean. The peacocks are a bit more flattened, and their fins are a bit more significantly sized. Lake Tanganyika cichlids come in a variety of shapes, and there's no one common body shape. What all these African cichlids have in common is their brilliant coloration. As alluded to earlier, these are some of the most vibrantly colored and patterned fishes in the hobby. The general assumption is that such vibrancy is limited to saltwater fish, but we're glad the African cichlids prove this assumption wrong. The Ideal Tank Setup there are so many different African cichlids that there's no one-size-fits-all option when it comes to tank setup. The one thing they all do have in common is the tank size requirement. These fish need to be kept in large numbers, often overstocked. This means that the tank has to be large enough. A 60-gallon tank is a good place to start. Having said that, there are plenty of options for smaller tanks, such as shell dwellers. The Lake Malawi cichlids tend to prefer a rocky backdrop with plenty of hiding spaces. Most cichlids are highly territorial and will defend their territory with varying degrees of aggression. Having these hiding places is therefore crucial. Tanganyika cichlids need a sandy substrate. Cichlid tanks should have plenty of space as these fish tend to be very active. They also produce a lot of waste, and you'll need a very robust filtration system. We would recommend getting a high-quality canister filter. A good testing kit is also recommended. Water parameters. While the individual requirements will vary, they tend to fall within the same general range. All African cichlids need water that is basic in nature. This is very important and one of the primary reasons why people end up with dead cichlids. If your local water is neutral or acidic in nature, make sure to get water supplements that will increase the pH of the water. The ideal range for the various water parameters are as follows pH 7.8 to 8.5, temperature 72 degrees Fahrenheit to 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius, hardness of 160 to 320 ppm, but depending on the exact species you get, you may have a narrower range. Diet most African cichlids primarily need a diet rich in plant matter with just a small amount of animal matter. This is not that big of a deal, as there are plenty of commercial options available. Choose a high-quality one formulated specifically for African cichlids and feed them two to three times a day with just enough food that they can finish off in a minute. Do not just feed them any fish food you'd find or meaty foods as it will lead to a condition called Malawi bloat. There are some cichlids that are omnivores though, and these should be fed accordingly. Behavior and Tank Mates As mentioned before, almost all African cichlids are territorial and aggressive, with the aggressiveness varying from species to species. Therefore, it is generally not recommended to mix the different types of African cichlids. Either go for a Mbuna tank, a peacock tank, or a Tanganyika tank. Some of these can be mixed together, but your mileage may vary as each specimen will have its own unique character traits. There are two ways of combating general aggression. Either keep a large tank with a few fish, this will give them the space to demarcate their own territories without intruding on the space of other fish. The other option is to keep a large number of fish together. This will diffuse the aggression as the aggression won't be constantly directed at the same fish. The second option should only be attempted by those who know what they're doing, as the maintenance and upkeep have to be very rigorous. As for non-cichlid tank mates, your options are really limited. You need a sturdy fish that can take the occasional abuse and won't get into a death match with the cichlids. Options include Siamese algae eater, Pleco clown loach, giant danios, pictus catfish, and red tail shark. Breeding 
This is again a vast topic that cannot be generalized, but to suffice it to say that these fish exhibit some of the most interesting breeding strategies on the planet. The mouth brooders are particularly striking. If you want to breed fish, then there's no better group than African cichlids. As it is to be expected, some will be easier than others, but they will all be satisfying to experience. Diseases African cichlids are fairly hardy and won't get sick unless they experience poor water conditions or an infected fish is introduced into their midst. Some of the diseases that can affect these fish include ick, hole-in-the-head disease, droopsy, cotton wool disease, Malawi bloat, and popped eyes. As long as any of these aren't severe and you diagnose it early on, they can be treated with fish medicine readily available at pet stores. So to sum it up, if you're on the lookout for a visually stunning aquarium that you can interact with but don't want the hassle of a saltwater tank, then African cichlids are the way to go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.